so we don't want their issues. Do you know one of the um, one of the biggest problems we've had in a lot of our social inclusion programs have been um, programs that are designed for young people. And the biggest problem is they've not thought up here how they're going to engage with young people. They've never even got to the point of knowing that they, they've never got past being able to engage. And so all the wonderful things they've designed here, they've never been able to use because nobody's walked through their door um, because they didn't figure out how they were going to engage with young people. So it's that knowledge up here of, of your target group and how you're targeting and how you're going to engage is really important. Um, and it'd be surprising how many people just don't think about it. They somehow think you put your shingle up and somebody's going to walk through the door. I think the, the example I heard really well was the amphetamine uh, trials that were done as part of the drug and alcohol uh, program, which were exceptionally important and were focused on young people. But they honestly thought, I think, that young people were just going to put their hand up and sort of walk in the door. We said at the time, you're going to have problems with recruitment um, and keeping people in <coughs> these trials. It's not the same as other trials. And so, and, and whilst they, they tried a few things, they, they really had to step up the pace in order to do that. So yeah, I, absolutely. I mean, it's that whole understanding of who you're targeting and, um, and where, what can happen. And never, ever assume that there won't be some unintended or perverse outcome. There isn't a program born where something doesn't happen that you didn't expect. That there will be a, something unintended or something perverse. And you can't always predict them, but you can deal with it in the do and review cycle. You can say, well, we didn't want that. So many programs again persist with it because they've designed it and, and it'd be the unintended and often the perverse outcomes that will actually bring it back in the long term. Okay. Um, I thought I'd talk, um, thought I'd talk about, about just some simple techniques to support a culture inquiry. And I wasn't sure today whether, whether you wanted a, a more theoretical overview or some sort of techniques, but I thought I might stop there. Can we just ask one question? Performance indicators, I'm sorry, big part, big part. Yes, setting those performance indicators, but particularly at an intermediate level, I, I, we say to ourselves, what would we at this point, three months point, expect this program to be doing? Where should it be um, if it's going to meet these sorts of outcomes? Where is it coming? Some of those will be process indicators. I mean, they may not, some of them haven't even almost seen a client yet sometimes at this stage. It's in the developmental stage. But you can see that some of those things are already starting, you know, the wheels are starting to fall off already uh, because things aren't going the way they It's almost endemic now in government that, that things get delayed. It's very difficult now to get projects up in timescales. Everybody underestimates the timescale. Or, 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 or if they want that to be the timescale, they don't do anything to make sure that they're going to get there. Um, you can't just leave timescales to the particularly government, to the natural forces, because at the end of the day, those delays will happen. So, yes, so, uh, it's, really, uh, it's really important to be, to, be, to be constantly thinking about those issues. Um, has anybody else got any um, queries on the sort of approach? Do you, know, do you sort of understand where we're coming from here? Um, as I said, it's quite, I, mean, I just don't see it as rocket science. I just think it can be such a helpful thing, and I just think we've got to engage more people and empower more people as workers and program managers, um, project officers in, in doing and in, in developing this headset, this inquiry headset. It's become really quite devalued in government particularly, I think. I think we've outsourced it. We've seen it as something as a responsibility of academics and, and not that that isn't a role for that. I mean, external evaluation is very important at certain times. But we shouldn't give up our own culture of inquiry and say that we don't have a valid role. It's very important that we do. And social workers, of course, have an absolute grounding in this work. But what I, I worry about is whether they get a chance to use that headset sometimes in terms of the work they do. I think it, a lot of it rings very true to me. And, uh, to, uh, in a setting where there is a, uh, a project that's um, dumped in the middle of the normal operations and it's having a great effect on the whole you know, normal things of the situation. And I don't think that's even being looked at, but the actual project itself hasn't really, after all this time, two, what, 10 weeks or whatever it is, still hasn't settled exactly what they're doing and why. And so of course it's falling apart and everybody who works in it says it's just not working, it's not working. Yeah. And so, so what they've decided to do instead is just extend it for another, for another month to evaluate it then. I mean, you know, that's, that's all the wrong way. What 
It's like driving a car. When the oil light comes on, you know you've already done the damage. Yes. You know, really. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think, um, I think it's very important that when you've got those signals. That, yeah. Yeah. But I think then it's seen as then, but then it's seen as a weapon. You see, then people go, oh, well, you're just trying to, you're just trying to destroy yes, it. Yes, you know. Yes. And so yes. I think it's, it's <laughs> much more <laughs> what you do as well as the way it's done. If you, you know? point it out, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's been pointed out in the process numerous times, from what I understand. But uh, yeah, yeah, it, it is definitely. Okay, what are the yeah the foundations? You have to understand yourself as an individual. If you're going to, if you're going to have this head, you really understand. Thank you very much.